What's up guys? You can probably tell by the fact the camera hasn't moved and I appear to be looking the exact same, only I'm wearing a He-Man shirt now, that um, it is, in fact, directly after the last video, but there's something really sad about, like, some videos have a different shirt, some videos don't have a different shirt. Like, it makes it look as though sometimes I'm just wearing the same shirt on day for days on end, which is in actual fact true, but no, we don't want people to know that. Although I've just said it. So yes, in fact, this is directly after the last video. I got so excited about killing that mole that I just had to keep going. I had to keep killing. Now with lube in tow, a, a, a less inept lube, which is nice. <laughs> a more effective lube is exactly what Crumb needs. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. You already apolog- Is that all you're gonna say? No. <laughs> Apologize for wasting my uh, Let's Play video time. Now, I wonder if I will be able to kill shrubs now. After all of the tomfoolery that I've had to go through in Happy Happy Village, I like to think that the denizens of Peaceful Rest Valley are no longer going to... No, nah, never mind. <laughs> Spinning Robo, he still wants my blood. Yeah, take that! Alright. See, that's what I want to do. Fight weaklings and level up! And healing beta! There we go, alright. I'm feeling a little bit more exploratory now, in fact. There were some areas that I didn't... Okay, well, there's nothing up there. <laughs> I was in such a hurry to get the hell out of uh, this village, uh, this valley last time, but I didn't really uh, take my time and um, take in the sights and the sounds of Peaceful Rest Valley. If we're being perfectly honest, I don't think there really are anything to... There is not much here to see. I wonder if the bridge is going to be back up now. Oh, a present! Look, Lube, it's a present! A hard hat! I reckon that'll be the kind of thing that will no longer be useful to me, now that I've got my Holmes hat. Oh, okay. Well, it actually was. Alright. I lied. Um, I like the sound of the Holmes hat, though. Whoops! That button doesn't exist. Never mind. Now, I'm guessing the ribbon is better, because the ribbon is better than- oh, no, wait. Oh, I really can't be bothered trading back and forth. Fuck it. <laughs> hard hat for, uh, Crumb. Just to add to his, um, looking like someone who is absolutely batshit crazy, he's now running around in a hard hat. <laughs> Crumb gonna fight ya! So the tree still wants to... <laughs> uh, do... Unkind things to my... Personage? Oh, the bridge is back. I fixed the bridge, it's a sign of apology, I'm just trying to help. Cool story. Hate you. Now we're gonna amble on over back to Tucson. With you, son. I wonder if I should get another teddy bear. Or if that would be pointless. Well, actually, no, come to think of it, considering I can't ride my bike anymore... <laughs> Because it would mean Lube is uh, running behind me as fast as she can. No, don't drain Lube's pee pee. You rude little sprout. Do I even. I should probably get rid of the bicycle. I should probably, um. deliver it to my sister. Because she has no friends that I'm aware of, so she can ride the bike around to her heart's content. See, I'm a good brother. I give my sister gifts, she can have the free bike. I am just darling. Taking out some sprouts. <laughs> that little room there seemed pointless. So, what's he gonna say? It's probably gonna say, you can't ride a bicycle when you've got people with you. There's only one seat, so you can't ride the bike now. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, okay. Oh, wait, it's a receiver phone. <laughs> I was gonna make a phone call. Man, Apple Kid, what a crappy invention in hindsight. You give me a one-way telephone? Crumb's gotta make calls. 
Crumb wants to order pizza. Crumb wants to discuss booking his summer holiday. Crumb wants to talk on sex lines, but no, it only receives calls. Well, Apple Kid, I just think that's shitty. I can't call! I can't call! I can't order mock pizza! For Schlugginer. For Schlugginer. I wonder if Orange Kid has anything good now. I'm not paying money for it, that's for damn sure. Hard at work. Don't worry, my brilliant invention will be ready soon. Get back to work. You better get back to work. You don't appear to be working! You don't have a workshop or any tools! See, at least Apple Kid's got some shit lying around like a proper inventor. I wonder if I should be talking to uh, Lube's parents. So wait, does Lube actually live at the school? It's kind of sad, you know? It defines her. When I grow up, I want to be just like Lube. Thank you for saving Lube, you are my hero. See, this is why I look like this hard hat kid. Yahoo! I knew it! You saved Lube! I don't really understand it, but I know that Lube's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge! It's my very own handmade band-aid. <laughs> Hand-aid. Crumb got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He is sorry he suspected Mr. Everdread at Berlin Park. Uh-oh. Did he just go and, like, break Everdread's knees? <laughs> Broke his kneecaps? Wait, where's my hand-aid? Did Crumb take it? No, oh, Crumb, no, that's rude! That was not for you! Hand-aid. Handmade Band-Aid. Heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. No. Give that to the woman for whom it was intended. Oh, Lube. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Lube's dream. Don't worry about me. Crumb and I will be able to take care of yourselves. We'll meet another friend. No one can beat us. Wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile. <laughs> Daddy won't cry no more. Daddy won't cry no more. Stop following me! What the fuck, man? Are you joining my party, or are you just being a fucking weirdo? Oh, he's gonna follow me up the stairs. <laughs> just give Daddy a hug. Goodbye, Daddy! Goodbye, Daddy! Daddy, goodbye! Goodbye, Daddy! <laughs> Again, another obscure reference. Let's see if anyone gets that one. I have all these references coming out the wazoo, but considering nobody wants to watches my channel, they're falling on deaf ears. Hello, Crumb Everdre is looking for you. He's got something for you. <laughs> that seems like a setup I've ever seen. One, some guy comes up to me, he's like, Hey, some guy's looking for you! It, it, better go talk to him! And then he piss bolts in the other fucking direction. No, why didn't you want to come with me? Why didn't you escort me? Or why didn't you just stand there? You're the only one who's darting about town like, Ah! <laughs> Cranky lady, uh... She had a secret she wanted to tell me. <laughs> I don't want to hear your secrets! Naughty secrets! Oh yeah, I was supposed to get rid of my, um, bicycle. First, I'm just going to, uh, get attacked by the police. Take that, cop! Take that, saga! Lube attacks! Does shit all! No! Lube's got rabies! Oh, Crumb already had rabies, don't worry. <laughs> Crumb's had rabies so long, he's actually been spreading it to other people. Crumb and Lube got 47 XP each. And they're so excited. Is there anything else I can send to my sister? Not really. I kind of need everything else. Oh, not the home's hat, but I'm going to sell that. Wait, where is Berglund Park? Oh, not that way. <laughs> Good work, Crumb, you shithead. <laughs> Crumb's like, don't worry. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Loop says, uh, Crumb, we're supposed to be talking to Everdread in Berglund Park. The best way to Berglund Park is through three. You don't understand because you're just a broad, but trust me. 
They will sing the, the praises of Crumb someday. Oh, I thought he was just going to be sulking in the corner, but first he's going to look over his shoulders like, <laughs> Oh, there they come. Hmm. Now look deep. What? Did that man just propose to become my husband? Oh, and he's going to pay me. Crumb's a prosy. <gasps> I knew it. Whoa, what the fuck? Liar exa- What? Wait, what? But the Manny Manny statue was, um... Over there. <laughs> I already found the Manny Manny statue, bro! Huh. So is that what Liar exa- I- I really can't be bothered going back to Liar Exaggerate and finding out if that was what he had. I don't know if I'm going to do a game-breaking thing. Look, all right, honestly, if I do have to go back to Liar Exaggerate at some point later on in the game, I hope there's a fly option, like in Pokemon. Maybe I can pay off their debt with this. You came with lube. I deserve a present. <laughs> so you come with lube and they give you presents. Well, I already did. Oop. I'm frozen in time. I think I know what this means. This guy's everywhere. I think this guy should be saving the world. He appears to have the ability to fly through the air. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. We'll always bring back the fondest of memories. He like pins it on his wall. Yeah, fond memories. Yeah. Alright, I got my backstage pass. Get out of my goddamn way. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I need a ticket to get in the front, but can I just go in backstage? Where's the backstage entrance? Out of the way, boys. Out of the way, boys. No, okay. No, no. I don't know why I feel the need to take the most difficult route possible in any event. Do I get backstage via here? Is there a backstage? No. I've got a backstage pass. I want to use the goddamn thing. Crumb rarely feels this special. Oh, wait. Do I use the... No, out of the fucking way. I'm a superstar. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Who's ready to max out with loads of celebrities? What if I just use the water bills on her? Please show me your ticket. Nah. No. <laughs> I'll show you my wad of fucking cash. Take $10,000, bitch. Oop. I checked her. <laughs> I frisked her. Yeah, no problems here. Backstage pass. That's me. Here you go. Hurry. Just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Yay, I'm gonna go see 5. Whoa, what the fuck? Weird Japanese businessman on a psychedelic floor. I came here tonight because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. No good-looking waitresses, and no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Dame How did you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? No, I'm just wealthy and influential. This bitch? How'd she get in? He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. I got a little kitty. <laughs> Why? Do you have like a knife in your pocket? Whoa. And he looks so freaking satisfied with himself. Oh, Nana got in. Seeing the Runaway 5 on stage is my life. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I got sweat or spit on me from the Runaway Five. Oh, those boys, they make me moist. All right, anyway. <laughs> no, what, what if I say I don't like baseball? Okay. I don't have a pass. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. What the fuck? What? No, no, I, di I didn't, I didn't agree to this! What do you want from me? 
Well, I'm backstage, but... You lucky kid, I hope you pay attention. I'm sure you're gonna... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna give him my croissant. I'm like, no, motherfucker! Yeah, I think you need to work on your lyrics, brah. <laughs> Brunizzle. Whoa. Everyone's wetting themselves in Onet. Or Eagle Land. I've got those debt blues. $10,000, pay off my debt. Oh, I know what's gonna happen here. Oh. Uh, fine. Here's a wad of bills. Yep. Hookers and cocaine, that's how I got it. Wait a minute. Wait, I, didn't I just give you my money? Did you just take it? No? Okay. Bruh. Bruh, I got cash for you. Bruh, bruh, take my money. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> so I came backstage to offer... So, can I offer my money to anyone in the room? Can I offer my money to anyone in all of Eagle Land? <gasps> Whoa! I love this concept that I can show an item to anyone! You little girl! Look at my wealth! Oh. <laughs> she does not understand the nature of this money. Oh, I see. Maybe I give it to the theater manager. No, but first I want to hear what the... This guy has to say. The bread man. Oh no, it's lyric man. I got lyric man and bread man mixed up. Oh wait, no, lyric bread lyric man was bread man. Whoa. I guess the show's about to start. Tonight you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at you. Rockin' and rollin' live on the here for this <laughs> on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesman, the Runaway Five! And here they come. Oh yeah. Baby! Oh wait, I don't know why I just did pumped up kicks. <laughs> Play pumped up kicks. Now play Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. Now play chess. I want to watch. Not really doing much singing. It's just a lot of ambling. Yeah! This is the greatest show I've ever seen, man! That's right, I danced like a Jim Henson Muppet. Somewhere along the way I became Mr. Oizo. <laughs> what do you think of the show, Crumb? Wow! Well, that was a short set list. Everyone actually bailed. <laughs> That's how shitty you are, Runaway 5. Everyone left. Wait, so where's the little girl who followed me? Where's my stalker girl? Oh, shit. Alright, fine. Oh, wait, no, th that's her. So, are you gonna thank me in any way, shape, or form? No. I don't think that was her, actually. It's the little girl I smuggled backstage is just gone. She just ceases, ceases to exist. Out of the way, bitch! <laughs> Sorry, that <laughs> I escalated that a little bit more than I intended. Okay. They'll stay here until they pay me back. Might be your friend years... Okay, yep. I've got some money for you! Let me take a real close look. Jesus, I have to wander around and give him money. Is this gonna be like the president of Cuba? Is he going to rob me blind? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I got involved in something that has nothing to do with me. This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. This means we can get out of this dump! I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, I see. Oh, they're the ones who, um, get through the thing thing. I see. So perhaps 
that was exactly what I was supposed to be doing in this video. I thought I was just kind of messing around and shit, you know? What's this little girl doing standing there? <laughs> I need to know. Okay. <laughs> She's just trapped behind the- in front of the door there. Oh. Here I was thinking I was just messing around and shit. You know? But no, apparently I was doing exactly what was intended of me. So first, we're just gonna go to the store. We're gonna buy a teddy bear. Cause if I can't ride my bike, then I may as well... Now you, Mr. T- Whoa, shit, okay. That was grim. <laughs> I was just gonna talk to you about, um... I was just gonna talk to him about how he didn't really help Lube out at all, but no. <laughs> Karma caught up to him. <laughs> Karma? What do you mean? It was a car, ma! Yep. Starting to see why I have no viewers. So, Alright, so we're gonna buy some burgers. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. And the teddy bear. What are you going to buy? A teddy bear! Who's going to carry this? Lou, because she's pathetic. Ooh, wait, can I buy two teddy bears? Teddy bear? Who's gonna carry this? Crumb is. No. Do, do I have... Where's my other bear? Where bear? Aw, there's only one visible bear. Buh. Okay, grab some burgers for the road. Hamburger. Lube, have a hamburger. Hamburger. Crumb, have a hamburger. Hamburger. Teddy bear, have a hamburger. <laughs> Teddy bear's like, I don't eat, Crumb. I only follow and watch. And while you sleep, I take your soul. <laughs> cool story, Teddy bear! Oh, that cost me money. Oh, I can call Mac Pizza. Whoa, what do you know? All right. First, I'm gonna talk to Dad, who is frivolously giving me money. Now, why does he know exactly how much it takes for Lube to level up? He's never met her before. He's never heard of her. Whoops, no, 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 <laughs> shit. Oh, I wasted my money. Worst, worst expenditure of a dollar ever. Not as good as that stupid postcard that did nothing. Mock pizza, what would you like to order? Large pizza! <laughs> and this is the part where I never turn up because I'm just talking on a payphone. I'm on a payphone! No, what? Why can't, yeah. Bastards. Oh, it's probably because I've got the delivery guy coming. If I were to fathom a guess, I'd say it's because the game doesn't want multiple people sprinting towards me. Oh, I should get on the bus to Threed instead. Nah, screw it. Took too long. <laughs> Crumb didn't really want pizza that much. Let's go to Threed. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want a ride? Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. And they were never seen again. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> They're drunk. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Whoa, shit. Look out, little dog. Look out, dapper gentleman. Where's the cranky lady? Brum. 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 Oak Breaker. <laughs> We've already done this bit, but I I just enjoyed the bobbing about. Yippee! Let's go and startle some ghosts. Let's go and rouse some spirits. Woo! I'm coming for you! Ah, shitty music, I hate it. I only listen to contemporary jazz! Ooh, I just wanted to follow in your footsteps. Hooray! Oh, I've come to a blue little town. 
Didn't we learn in uh, Happy Happy Village that blue doesn't work? Looks like we have to say goodbye. I'm sure you can light up the place with your own brand of sunshine. That's deep, man. That's deep. <laughs> that deep. Some theater in Foreside. Wait, but you said you're going to the next. You, you said you're going to the next town. This is the next town. Oh, I don't know where I am. I'm a small child and I'm in a lost place with a teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Ready. Um. Yeah. I think that's. <laughs> I, 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 I will acknowledge the fact that in this video I didn't appear to do anything other than catch a bus and watch a musical act, but no, whatever! I'll get over to the next one. And yes, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, it will just be me in a differently colored shirt again. Bonza!